Hey everybody and welcome to Bits of Pop. And lately I've been seeing this reptilian woman on social media. <laughs> what movie is she from? Is she a Sid and Martin Croft creation? Who is she? And where did she come from? Well, for starters, her name is Kuka, and she is a witch from Brazilian folklore. And there are various possible origins for the Kuka, all stemming from Portugal, where the word coca has different meanings. It can be a hooded cloak used in celebrations, like the procession de los pasos, where black hooded people known as the fairy Coco lead the procession announcing the death of Christ. There is also a mythical dragon in Portugal called the Coca, which fights against St. George in celebrations like the Fist of the Coca. The most likely origin is from an entity known as the Coco that has a female variation known as the Coca, which is a monster used by adults to scare children and keep them in check, much like the Boogeyman, Krampus, and the Ogre Katsina. The legend of the Coco then spread to Spain and then to the Americas once Spain and Portugal colonized the area, being known in many Latin American countries as the Cucuy and in Brazil as the Cuca. Now the Cuca in Brazil is often depicted as an old reptilian witch, taking and devouring children who won't go to bed. It is also an example of a syncretic belief, bringing in the cultural tales of the Coco from Portugal, where they were from the indigenous Tupi of Brazil, since the word Cuca in Tupi means to swallow in a single gulp. Then the Cuca became the antagonist in the book O Saucy from the series of children's book by Montero Lobato known as Sitio do Picapau Amarelo. With the first appearance of the Cuca on film being in the 1951 film adaptation of O Saucy, directed by Rodolfo Nani, which has the Cuca appearing as an old witch. <laughs> the TV network Red the Globo then bought the rights to the series and produced a TV show in 1977, depicting the Cuca as a bipedal alligator with a wig. Here again, she is the main antagonist, living in a cave and having a myriad of spells like the ability to transform herself into a human. The series would then return in 2001, bringing the depiction of the Kuka we have come to know from social media with Kuka in a dress and with her bombastic movements. Kuka would have different depictions throughout the years, with 2007's interpretation of the character being the most drastic, with Kuka being more human-like. Her most recent appearance being that of the animated series in 2012. And like most popular kids shows, eventually it got a stage play. And she is, having recently become a meme and being used in what is known as gay Twitter for sass and clapback tweets. So time will tell if this meme will last or if Kuka has longevity within the gay community. Just earlier this month, the Babadook was embraced as a gay icon. So time will tell who or what will be next. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all for more bits of pop.